Prison Ship Martyrs Monument pays homage to American revolutionary war heroes and patriots who lost their lives fighting for our nation's independence. This structure was first erected in 1908 to memorialize and contain the remains of 11,500 patriots from the Revolutionary War who died while in British custody on ships anchored in the East River immediately adjacent to Brooklyn, New York. The British maintained approximately 16 ships during the war, which became necessary after the limited land-based prison space reached capacity shortly after New York City fell to the British in August of 1776. These prisoners of war were housed in inhumane conditions. Disease was rampant and food and water were scarce. Each ship typically contained more than 1,000 men and boys. Now, more Americans died in British captivity than in all of the battles of the Revolutionary War combined. Many perished on these prison ships. The deceased represent patriots from all 13 colonies and more than a dozen nationalities. Accordingly, this is one of the only international war monuments in the world. The individuals housed on the prison ships could have obtained their freedom had they acceded to request to join the British forces. However, very few opted to save their own lives, instead believing in the promise of America. According to a written newspaper account of the situation, American prisoners suffered so egregiously in part because the British refused to recognize them as enemy soldiers, which would have, of course, amounted to legitimizing the colonial government and therefore denied them the basic rights ordinarily accorded to prisoners of war. It was not until 1908 that their remains were properly memorialized in a 149-foot tall Doric column atop a 95-foot hill in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, beneath which is the crypt. During the Great Depression, the monument as a whole fell into disrepair due to a shortage of funds, neglect, and lack of public interest. The monument originally had four bronze eagles mounted to the corner granite post. After repeatedly being vandalized, these eagles were removed, never to be returned to the park again. This is emblematic of the overall treatment of the monument that continued for much of the previous century. In 2005, as part of a $3 million reconstruction project, which took 18 months, the condition of the monument improved somewhat. However, it is still under great threat and vandals continue to deface the property. This monument should be a place to memorialize forgotten martyrs and revolutionary war heroes. Instead, it is now more frequently used as a skate park and casual recreation space. To that end, the potential designation of the crypt and the monument as a unit of the NPS should be studied given its national significance and the ability of the NPS to protect our national treasures. The story of these brave heroes and the atrocities that they suffered has been described as one of the least known accounts of the American Revolution. I respectfully urge my colleagues in the House to support H.R. 1501, preserve the Prison Ship Martyrs Monument, and help illuminate the sacrifices made by these forgotten patriots and American Revolutionary War heroes. Again, let me thank the uh, distinguished gentleman, the ranking member, uh, for his support and for his leadership, as well as that uh, of Mr. Young.
and i yield back the gentleman yields back t